Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Dell Inspiron 7706, and I'll walk you through step by step on how to upgrade your computer. So, in this video, I'll do a complete teardown or disassemble the laptop, and during that time, I'll show it to you what are the things that you can upgrade maybe the RAM, changing out your battery maybe upgrading your M.2 drive or hard drive, things like that. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is to identify the computer. If you flip it around and look at the back of your laptop, you can see that this is model P98F or P98F001. All right. So that is the Dell model or the Dell seven uh, Dell Inspiron seventy seven sixty. All right, so turn it around. The first thing we like to do is to remove the back cover. Get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. I'll be using the PH triple zero. That is the tiny little Phillips screwdriver here. So the top three screws that do not come off, so you just unscrew them, make it loose. That's about what you want to do and the rest of it, it will come out. Okay, so once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to pry open the back cover. I simply just stick in between my fingers in this back cover and just kind of separate them apart by simply just lift it up. And that's how the entire back cover is removed. Let's identify all the components before we move forward with anything okay so as you can see this is your CMOS battery if you want to disconnect them by simply slide it down the connector and to disconnect the CMOS battery here is your speaker left and right and the speaker is being connected to this cable right here the main this is your battery so I need to change to a different screwdriver. Um, this is the PH1. This is the one size of a Phillips screw. We need to use a bigger screwdriver for the internal component. So remove that battery. Disconnect the screws. Okay, and what you want to do is to slide the battery connector down. So slide it down towards your body. Okay, so this is the entire battery. Now, if your battery is swollen, okay, if this battery is swollen or there's a lump to the battery or the battery becomes so fat, then you would have to replace or change the battery, okay? Do not use any broken battery. Now, if you're not sure where to find the replacement part, down here it says 3HWPP that would be the model for this replacement battery if you're not sure where to buy them what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below where you can direct uh, the link will direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement parts at the same time uh, the replacement uh, the toolkit for this teardown alright so the next step is to remove the M.2 one screw this is the second screw
I just need to remove the bracket. It's a little bit sticky because they have the uh, thermal pad that is taped onto the M.2 drive and you just want to slide it down towards your body. Okay, that's how you remove the M.2. You have two slots for your RAM and they're both being used. So this is the 8 gigs and 8 gig. So you have a 16 gigs of RAM. You can upgrade to 16 and 16. That goes up to 32 gigs of RAM. To do that, you can simply just push the two side of the clipper and you can slide the RAM to your right. This two clipper here is the one that latch onto the RAM. And once you install, you just have to slide it back in at 45 degree angle and push it in. That two little clipper would lock it back. All right, so let's move on. We, we start disconnecting all the wires, all the flex cable. Then we remove the motherboard and show you what underneath the keyboard, okay? Here is the touchpad, trackpad, open up the clipper, slide the cable out. Flip open the clipper, slide the cable down. This is the uh, keyboard backlighting. Open up the clipper, slide the keyboard down. That is for your main keyboard. Here comes the speaker, slide the connector down. Remove the one screw. Remove the bracket, that is for your Wi-Fi. The black cable is on the top. The white cable is at the bottom. You just simply lift it up. Slide the Wi-Fi card to your left to disconnect that. Okay, so this one here is your um, cable that connects the I.O. board from your left, like your USB or the HDMI cable coming through this one. So open up the clipper and slide that cable to your left. Okay, that's how you disconnect it. This is your CPU fan. Slide that connector down. Here is your motherboard. Okay. Here's your motherboard. Uh, sorry, here is your LCD cable that attached to the motherboard. Make sure that plastic is remove open up the clipper and slide it away from your body so slide it away from that okay this is your charging port slide the charging port to your right that's how you disconnect it all right pretty much it i'm removing the cpu fan Two screws and you remove the CPU fan. If you want to find a replacement part for this, um, I probably think it's really here, tiny, 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 tiny little. So the CPU fan would be CN0DXCY2. That is the replacement number for the CPU fan. Okay, once you have done that part, let's take a look at the heatsink. The screw doesn't come out, you just have to loosen up the screw. Okay, there you have it. This is the heatsink for your Dell laptop. Now, if the thermal pad is all dried up and if you feel like the computer always overheating or the fan always go on a high speed, that means the computer is not dispersing the heat away from your laptop fast enough. So what you want to do is to get yourself an alcohol wipes. So this is the alcohol wipes that I use. Okay, so you want to wipe it down your cpu and your graphics card with the dry thermal pad i mean thermal paste once you have cleaned out the heatsink and the cpu you can get yourself a thermal compound or thermal paste and apply them on the cpu 
and the graphics card with the new thermal paste. That way it would help the computer from overheating. Okay, let's put that on the side. Now we are going to remove the motherboard. But first I need to remove the three screws, open up the hinge. Okay, we need to make sure the hinge is open a little so the motherboard can come out. And this is your USB-C. Remove the two screws, remove the uh, bracket as well. Okay, now you can slide the motherboard to your left and remove it. So for those of you who are interested to do a motherboard replacement, you may want to find the replacement part. Sometimes it's underneath the, uh, the RAM. Let's take a look here. I don't see the model here at the underneath. Um, right here. So you might want to look up for the model CN-0P47D9. Okay, so that would be a replacement part for your motherboard. Okay, so that is that. And we're going to talk a little bit about the keyboard. Is the keyboard replaceable? The answer is yes, I think. No, I don't think so. The keyboard is not replaceable, okay? I'll show you why I say that. So let's remove the three screws. We want to remove entirely of the keyboard here. So let's open up the hinge a little bit more. As we open, I'm going to slide the keyboard out, okay? So what I just did is I opened up the hinge at about 90 degree angle or slightly less than that. And so I can slide the keyboard out. If you take a look here, the keyboard is pre-built entirely with the trackpad. And if you take a look at the back of the keyboard, although you see some of the screws here, I also see some of the punching, punching, uh, plastic that, that, that goes on top the cover so that might not able to be replaced okay I'm I'm I might be wrong in this part okay keyboard might be a replaceable item half and half I'm not 100% sure uh, but if you want you can look up the model number here that is for the keyboard replacement part I believe 01 DN 1x this is your power button with the touch ID on it and that is probably the touch ID functionality and this is the Dell for your USB your SD card reader and the headphone so you can replace the headphone jack uh, by changing out the board the speakers trackpad looks like the tra trackpad is replaceable you just have to unscrew all the screws and change out the entire trackpad all right so that's pretty much it i did a complete tear down here and for those of you who wants to do a screen replacement then more likely you would have to replace the entire screen from top to bottom okay not just the glass itself all right so that should be it and if you enjoy the video all i'm asking is you can give me a like smash that like button for me will you and um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel feel free to subscribe and of course if you have any computer questions comment below i read your comment and i will answer all your questions in the comments so comment below that way i can communicate with you and do not forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching bye now